fail. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Well, Colin, I'm gonna hand this one to you. I, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of talking about a lot of things today. So I'm gonna <laughs> hand this one to you. So Georgia wins if and go. Well, I mean, I kind of voiced that just a minute ago, a little bit uh, already. But yeah, no, I mean, I can agree. I can agree. Uh, you know, turnovers are your your killers. I mean, like we, you know, look at Stetson. Stetson had a fumble. Uh, Milton had a fumble. You know, if we could keep the fem- uh, the the turnovers to a minimum, and if uh, you know if Stetson, uh, I don't know whether he is uh, kind of rattled back there or not. If he can settle down and make his throws, make his checks, and big thing for me is going to be his offensive line protection, um, which would be a huge thing. And then uh, you know our defense on. Uh, you know, on the score down to a minimum, having like you said, not not having to play in the fourth quarter, which was a uh, you know that was that was uh, unorthodox for us to play. You know, not play until the fourth quarter, and usually we're the first half team, not a second half team. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I see all that having to happen, but I I, I view it. You know, turnovers are key. Like in, in opportune moments, if turnovers happen, they could be you know uh, the difference in a win or a loss in the game, regardless who's playing. You know. I'm gonna throw a little. I'm gonna throw a little pepper on top of those uh, mashed potatoes with some butter and some uh, shredded cheddar cheese. There, my friend. Um, Georgia wins if this run game ever gets going. We already see that Deshaun Edwards is he's a caged tiger ready to be cut loose and go. Or maybe tiger's not an analogy we want to use for this particular weekend, <laughs> but uh, he's he's ready. He's ready to be let loose and cut loose. We see that Kendall is. Finally, starting to whatever it is. I know his hand. I know his hamstring was bothering him a little bit, and he's coming back from. If my understanding is correct, he's coming back from season-ending injury from last year. So it looks like he's getting his legs up under him too. If those two get going, that takes a lot of pressure off of Stetson to have to put the ball out there to. Uh, to have to put the ball out there to McConkey, who, I don't know if he starts smelling himself or not or whatever. The last right. couple of games, but he's been off, and you don't have to completely work Brock Bowers to death. And you can also you can also start spreading it around. I mean, we seen Big o, Big O is not afraid to hurdle anybody. That guy is just yeah. he's like, so what? I'm six foot eight and three hundred seventy eight <laughs> pounds. I'm going to jump over you. Move out of the way, peasant. So yeah. those those are my takeaways from the Georgia wins. If so, having said all of that, those of you just joined- I so feet. We appreciate you tuning in and watching these videos. Me and Colin will be back every Monday, every Thursday, right on this very channel. So like what you see, hit the like button. Want to get the notifications, hit the subscribe button. Want your peoples to know, hit that share button and send it all across the internet. We appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in. We'll be back next time. We'll see you then. Go dogs.